Do you want to learn how to be less awkward on camera and how to get more comfortable in front of your camera? Make sure to watch this video. Hey guys, nice to see you again. I hope you're having a lovely day. And if you don't know who I am because it's your first time on this channel, my name is Lila, lovely to meet you. And on this channel, I make camera tutorials as well as video and filmmaking tutorials. So if you're into that stuff, make sure to check it out. And if you like it, make sure to subscribe right here. In this video, I really wanna give you some tips on how you can become a better and more natural speaker on camera. I realize that not everyone feels comfortable, they feel awkward talking to a camera, but they love to make videos. Before we dive in, I do wanna to explain to you the format of this video. When you're making a video, you go through three phases, the pre-production, the production, and the post-production. So therefore, I've divided the tips that I'm gonna give you in those three categories. So let's not waste any more time and dive right in. My first tip would be to warm up before you actually hit the record button. Just sit down, talk to the camera, talk to the camera like it's a friend, talk about your weekend, talk about the old lady that you saw in the supermarket, or even better, talk about something that you're passionate about. For me personally, that is filmmaking and everything that has to do with videos. As soon as I start talking about that, I feel this energy. And when you hit the record button while you're feeling that energy, then it rubs off on your audience. And it's something that your audience loves to see as well. The next tip would be to drink your coffee. If you need coffee, drink it. If you don't really like coffee, do something else that makes your blood flow, whether that is meditating or doing a few jumping jacks. Do whatever it takes to get in that right mindset before you start filming. My other tip would be to choose your location wisely. Choose a location that you feel comfortable in. If you don't feel comfortable talking to a camera in public, don't do that. If you feel comfortable in your bedroom or in your office or wherever, film there. Because it is all about feeling comfortable and feeling like you can be yourself. Wear something that you feel comfortable in, whether that is a suit and tie or whether it's something like this, just wear something where you feel the most you in. I do realize that you are on a public platform, so you wanna look good and that's totally fine. If you're wearing something that is not you, you're going to feel uncomfortable. And when you're going to feel uncomfortable, you're gonna feel uncomfortable talking to the camera. Furthermore, I think it is really important to master your pre-production. What I mean by that is that you have to know what you're going to say. When you know what you're going to say, you will feel more comfortable. However, don't overthink it, don't overmemorize it. Just write down a few bullet points if you like working that way, or just write down a script so you know what you're going to say and that will help you in the process. Now that we're done with our pre-production, it is time to move to our production. Now the next tip, I'm sure that you've heard it more often, but it's a good tip, so I'm gonna give it to you anyways. And that is, imagine talking to a friend. I personally just imagine talking to you because I feel a connection with you and I value you so much. So for me, that's not that difficult. But if you feel a little bit uncomfortable in front of the camera, you can imagine that you're actually filming this video for your best friend because you want to tell him or her a story. And something that can also help, but I would be a little bit careful with it, is to place a picture of someone that you love or feel comfortable with next to the camera. But don't, do, do, do not, do not look away from the camera. If there is one thing that I hate and that makes me click off a video immediately, it is when the person is not making eye contact. And yes, yes, realistically, there are no eyes. I am not in that lens when they're talking to me. But you have to look into the lens if you want to make a connection. Don't look at your flippy screen when you're filming. Don't look at yourself. You can do that the other 23 hours of that day, but don't look at yourself when you're talking to me. That's weird. I mean, it would be really weird if we were having a real life conversation and I would just be looking away all the time, wouldn't it? So treat your camera the same way. Treat the lens as the eyes of the person. Don't get me wrong, it is okay to look away sometimes because we do that in real life conversations as well. If I keep looking in the camera like this all the time, the, 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 no, don't do that. Just don't look at your flippy screen, make eye contact. One thing that I do wanna stress is that you're doing this for fun. You should do YouTube because you love making videos, because you love being on YouTube. So you should not put any pressure on yourself. As soon as you start wondering, should I continue this? Is it worth it? Just think why you wanna be doing YouTube. 
And this is my next tip, and that is to not put any pressure on yourself. You're doing this for fun. You're doing this in the comfort of your own home or wherever you're filming it because you love to do it. Don't think about the tens or hundreds or thousands of followers that you have that will watch this video just enjoy making the video. And while we're on the topic of just enjoying it, taking a deep breath and enjoy the process, that actually brings me to my next point, which is practice your breathing. Practicing your breathing is so underrated, but it's super important, especially if you're a fast talker like me. I get out of breath sometimes when I talk and this can make your audience feel uncomfortable or nervous and no one likes to watch someone who makes them nervous, so don't do that. <gasps> production, check, let's go to post-production. For post-production, I actually only have one tip for you, but I think that this is the best tip that I can give you because you can learn so much from this tip and that is to watch yourself back. Yes, I know, it is awkward, it is uncomfortable, but actually observing yourself talk to the camera and taking some notes of things that you can do better will definitely help you become a better speaker. Do not only focus on how you talk, but also watch your body language, because that is very important as well. Do you have an open attitude? Are you a little bit closed? Do you look a little bit like insecure? Those are all things that matter when you're in front of a camera or in front of an audience. So I definitely think that the best way to get better is to review your past work and see what you can improve. However, I do want to stress, and I already said this, but I do want to stress again that you're doing this because you love it and because you want to have fun. We're here to get better, but we're not here to criticize ourselves and looking at the things that we suck at. Enjoy the process, you will get better. It is a learning process. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about how to create better videos or you want to get most out of your camera, make sure to check out these playlists. And more importantly, if you want to support me and the channel, make sure to subscribe right here or on the red button, like somewhere right there and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. Gotta practice my breathing. See you next time. It is either And if you're wondering why I move the way I do I just feel so good